All right, we're gonna solve decimals specifically. We're gonna add a whole number and a decimal together. So when you do this, the first rule of decimals is you need to line up the decimals. So you need to have all the whole numbers to the left and all the decimals to the right. And you also need to think about the place value of each number in order to get it lined up correctly. So I like to think of this as $12. So since this doesn't have any decimals with it, I'm gonna make it so that it does have decimals. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna turn this into like $12. So if you think about $12, it would be 12.00 is what we're thinking about. Make that a little bit better, there we go. So that's $12 and we're gonna to add to that $6.24. So if you think about the six, the six is in, in the ones place, so I need to make sure that the six lines up with that two because that two is also in the ones place. So I'm gonna put the six here and then add in my decimal. And then I also need to then put the 24 cents under this section here because the two remembers the tenths place, that's here, and that's the hundredths. So if you see, that's the problem we wanna do. And then we add, okay, so Pretty simple, we just add zero plus four is four, zero plus two is two. We always bring the decimal straight down, and then we add six, seven, eight, and then the one. So our answer to 12 plus six and 24 hundredths is 18 and 24 hundredths.